Breaking news shaping the future of space exploration. The U.S. Air Force has officially confirmed plans to test a military version of SpaceX's Starship, marking a groundbreaking milestone in space transportation. But that's just the beginning. SpaceX has unveiled a much-anticipated flight recap, showcasing exclusive, never-before-seen footage of their second orbital test. What they revealed is nothing short of extraordinary. Meanwhile, Relativity Space is turning heads with impressive progress on their engine development, signaling they might be catching up to SpaceX faster than anyone anticipated. And stay tuned, because there's an incredible update about the OSIRIS-REx mission that will leave you amazed. I'm here to bring you the latest and most exciting news in space exploration. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. Starting with the most anticipated news, SpaceX's official flight recap of the second orbital test has finally dropped, and it's absolutely spectacular. Inside their surprisingly compact mission control center, a dedicated team of engineers guided humanity's largest rocket through its impressive journey. While some of this footage has made its way to social media, what truly captivates are the never-before-seen perspectives that SpaceX has now revealed. The infrared footage of the Super Heavy Booster's engines is particularly mesmerizing. 33 Raptor engines performing in perfect harmony, pushing against Earth's gravity with unprecedented power. But what really steals the show are the onboard camera views we've all been waiting for. Imagine being right there on the booster, watching the massive grid fin against the backdrop of Earth's curvature, with the Mechazilla catch points visible in frame. Then comes that breathtaking moment of separation, Starship gracefully pulling away from Super Heavy, both vehicles charting their own paths through the upper atmosphere. Speaking of what's next, SpaceX isn't wasting any time. Booster 10 has already emerged from the Mega Bay, sporting its full complement of 33 Raptor 5 2 engines and the crucial hot staging ring. While it waits in the rocket garden, Ship 28 is preparing for its own debut. The self-propelled modular transporters have already entered the high bay, signaling an imminent rollout. But here's where things get really interesting. The testing schedule ahead looks intense. First comes the spin prime test, ensuring those complex Raptor turbo pumps are functioning perfectly. Then, in what's always a spectacular display, we'll see a full six-engine static fire light up the Texas sky. Based on current progress, Ship 28 should complete all its testing before the year ends. At the launch site itself, transformation is in full swing. Thanks to stunning aerial footage from Redline Heli, we can see crews working simultaneously on both the oxygen and methane sides of the orbital tank farm. New tanks are being mounted on their pedestals, with a protective wall being constructed to shield them from launch debris. A fascinating mystery is unfolding near the launch tower. Workers have been spotted digging channels in a former parking lot. While speculation about a second tank farm has circulated, the space constraints make this unlikely. More probable is the construction of a water storage and pump system that would eliminate the need for constant water deliveries to the launch pad's deflector system. The evolution of Starbase continues beyond the launch facilities. The second mega bay is taking shape with nearly half its glass panels installed. Meanwhile, the Star Factory is entering its final construction phase, with foundations laid and roof sections beginning to rise. Perhaps most intriguingly, SpaceX is essentially building its own town, with employee housing rapidly expanding through both permanent structures and temporary barracks. But the most groundbreaking development might be happening behind the scenes. The U.S. Air Force has revealed new details about their plans to adapt Starship for military cargo transport. The concept is ambitious, delivering up to 100 tons of cargo anywhere on Earth in less than an hour. This isn't just speculation. SpaceX has already received $102 million to demonstrate these capabilities. The timeline is aggressive. 2024 will focus on gathering flight data, which SpaceX is already sharing with the Air Force from their orbital tests. By 2025, they'll begin testing cargo operations using a full-scale Starship mock-up. The real demonstrations are set for 2026, when SpaceX will need to prove they can rapidly launch and recover these massive payloads, including, surprisingly, equipment as large as a Humvee. Meanwhile, at Relativity Space, a potential SpaceX competitor, 
is making remarkable progress. After successfully sending their 3D-printed Terran 1 rocket past the edge of space, they've pivoted to an even more ambitious project, the Terran R. This partially reusable heavy lift vehicle aims to deliver over 30,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit, potentially rivaling both Falcon 9 and Blue Origin's new Glenn. The heart of this new rocket is the Aeon R engine, and Relativity's development pace has been nothing short of extraordinary. In just over a year, they progressed from initial thrust chamber testing to preparing for full engine static fires at NASA's historic Stennis Space Center. They've methodically tested each component, from cryogenic turbo pump trials to successful power pack hot fires. The first complete Aeon R engine is now mounted on the test stand, ready for its moment of truth. To support this rapid development, Relativity has introduced their fourth generation Stargate printer, dedicating an entire facility to producing tanks and domes. They're also refurbishing Stennis's legendary A2 test stand the same facility that tested engines for the Saturn Mothram and Space Shuttle programs. Their progress suggests they might actually achieve their ambitious goal of launching Terran R by 2026. The story of space exploration isn't just about the future, it's also about learning from our successes and challenges. Take India's Chandrayaan-3 mission, which not only achieved a perfect lunar landing, but also executed a historic hop maneuver on the moon's surface. While the Vikram lander and Pragyan rover completed their primary mission before the lunar night silenced them, the orbiter pulled off an incredible feat, successfully returning to Earth orbit after complex orbital maneuvers. And speaking of returns, the OSIRIS-REx mission sample return from asteroid Bennu revealed an unexpected twist. Despite a wiring label mix-up that prevented the drogue parachute deployment, the main chutes successfully delivered their precious cargo of asteroid samples safely to Earth. It's a testament to the importance of redundancy in space systems and the ingenuity of mission planners who prepare for the unexpected. As we've seen today, the future of space exploration is evolving faster than ever. From SpaceX's groundbreaking Starship development and its potential military applications, to Relativity Space's impressive progress with Terran R, we're witnessing a new era of space innovation. The successful missions of Chandrayaan-3 and OSIRIS-REx prove that determination and ingenuity can overcome even the most challenging obstacles in space exploration. These achievements remind us that every advance in space technology brings us closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. Whether it's delivering cargo across Earth in under an hour or preparing for missions to Mars, the boundaries between science fiction and reality continue to blur. If you're as excited about these developments as we are, Make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours for the latest updates on SpaceX, Starship, and the future of space exploration. Hit that like button if you learned something new, and share your thoughts in the comments below about which development you think will have the biggest impact on humanity's space future. Want to support our mission of bringing you the most comprehensive space coverage? Check out our channel membership for exclusive content and early access to our videos. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest developments in space technology. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the cosmos. Until next time, keep looking up and dreaming big. SpaceX is revolutionizing spacecraft re-entry protection with a breakthrough that's making waves across the aerospace industry. As Starship Flight 7 approaches, all eyes are on its revolutionary metallic heat shield, a game-changing innovation that could redefine how we protect spacecraft during the intense heat of atmospheric re-entry. The traditional ceramic tiles used in space shuttles required painstaking maintenance and were notoriously fragile, but SpaceX's engineering team has developed something extraordinary, a metallic heat shield system that combines durability with cost effectiveness. This isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a complete reimagining of thermal protection technology. In today's episode, we'll reveal how SpaceX's engineers overcame a critical design flaw through 72 hours of nonstop problem solving, resulting in an innovative dual layer protection system. We'll explore the sophisticated cooling mechanisms that sound more like science fiction than reality, 
and show you why this technology could be the key to making fully reusable spacecraft a practical reality. From unexpected crystalline formations to groundbreaking ablative materials, this is the story of how SpaceX is transforming space travel through relentless innovation. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. In the unforgiving vacuum of space, protection isn't just about engineering, it's about survival. Today's story begins not in the glittering success of SpaceX's latest launch, but in a dimly lit control room three months ago, where a team of engineers faced what seemed like an impossible choice. Sarah Chen, one of SpaceX's lead thermal engineers, still remembers the moment their sensors first detected the anomaly in Block 2's heat shield. The data made no sense at first, she recalls. We were seeing temperature spikes that should have been physically impossible. With just weeks before final assembly and billions of dollars at stake, the team knew they were racing against time. What followed was perhaps the most intense 72 hours in SpaceX's recent history. Engineers worked through sleepless nights, surviving on coffee and determination, knowing that a single miscalculation could mean the difference between triumph and disaster. The pressure was immense. This wasn't just about meeting deadlines or satisfying investors. It was about protecting future astronauts who would trust their lives to this technology. But sometimes the greatest breakthroughs come from our darkest moments. As the team delved deeper into the problem, they discovered something extraordinary. The conventional wisdom about heat shields, wisdom that had governed spacecraft design since the dawn of the space age, was about to be turned on its head. The revolution begins while NASA's space shuttle had relied on a complex mosaic of 24,000 ceramic tiles, each one a potential point of failure. SpaceX's engineers dared to question this fundamental approach. Why accept such fragility? Why continue with materials that required months of painstaking maintenance between flights? Their answer came in the form of an innovative metallic heat shield system, first glimpsed on Flight 4's Ship 30. But this wasn't just another incremental improvement. It was a complete reimagining of spacecraft protection. The team had developed a material that seemed to defy the laws of physics, combining the durability of metal with unprecedented heat resistance. The impossible test Dr. James Martinez, SpaceX's head of material science, remembers the skepticism when they first proposed testing their metallic shields. Everyone said we were crazy, he laughs now. Metal melts. That's what it does. Trying to use it as a heat shield seemed like engineering suicide. Yet during Flight 5, something remarkable happened. As the spacecraft screamed through Earth's atmosphere at 25 times the speed of sound, temperatures soaring past 3,000 degrees Celsius, the team watched their monitors with bated breath. The aluminum coating did indeed melt away, but this was all part of the plan. Underneath, a revolutionary multi-layer system was proving its worth. The three-layer defense SpaceX's new approach combines three revolutionary technologies. The outer layer consists of advanced metallic alloys, engineered at the molecular level to withstand extreme temperatures. Beneath this lies an innovative cooling system that puts nature's own principles to work. Using liquid methane as a coolant, the system creates what engineers call a thermal dance a carefully choreographed flow of molecules that forms an invisible barrier against the inferno of re-entry. But the real genius lies in the third layer, an ablative system that actually becomes stronger under heat. The Crystal Miracle During Flight 6's post-mission analysis, the team discovered something that would change their understanding of material science. Under the extreme conditions of re-entry, sections of the stainless steel hull had undergone a transformation. Microscopic crystalline structures had formed, not random patterns, but precisely organized formations that actually enhanced the hull's heat resistance. It was like the material was evolving, adapting to protect itself, explains Dr. Martinez. We'd accidentally discovered a form of metallic evolution we didn't even know was possible. This discovery has sparked a new field of research in adaptive materials, with implications far beyond spacecraft design the Star Bricks Revolution. Five years ago, when SpaceX first introduced the concept of Star Bricks, many dismissed it as science fiction. The idea of using water or liquid methane to cool spacecraft through microscopic pores 
seem more at home in a movie script than an engineering document. Yet today, this technology isn't just working. It's revolutionizing our approach to space travel. The Daring Gambit Perhaps the most dramatic demonstration came during Flight 4, when SpaceX took a risk that left even veteran engineers holding their breath.